The separation of oxygen through electrolysis of water is also a common industrial method. Two electrodes are used to pass an electric current as shown by the light. However, distilled water does not pass a current, so we have to add an electrolyte, sulfuric acid in this case. The electrolyte provides ions which can move and allow the current to flow. The light goes back on, showing that the ions are now being drawn to the poles. So now we'll place the electrodes in this Hoffman tube, an apparatus which makes it easy to separate and collect the gases. Then we add the solution we just tested. As before, a gas is starting to be evolved at each of the poles. The stopcocks are closed to keep the gas from escaping and we have only to wait until enough collects for testing. Electrolysis of water is a common industrial method where power is available at little cost and other materials can also be sold. For example, electrolysis of salt brine can yield oxygen, hydrogen, chlorine, and sodium hydroxide all at once. You'll note that about twice as much gas formed on the right side from the negative pole as on the positive. We have enough gas, so we'll test its identity. First, from the positive pole. It fulfills the old-fashioned criterion of oxygen. Next, the gas from the negative pole, which acts like and is hydrogen.